So you're ditching the landline and diving into the world of internet calling with Uma. But wait, hold on a second. All this talk about internet calling has you wondering, does Uma need an ethernet cable? Don't worry, we've all been there. Cutting the cord on one service can bring a wave of questions about the next. Fear not, tech enthusiasts and future UMA users, because this video is here to clear the confusion and get your internet calls ringing crystal clear. Now, before we dive into the ethernet situation, let's rewind a bit. UMA is a voice over IP VoIP service. That fancy term basically means it uses your internet connection to make phone calls instead of the traditional copper wires of a landline. This translates to potentially significant savings and a bunch of cool features you won't get with a landline, like voicemail to email and fancy call blocking. But here's the thing, the internet is a vast and sometimes fickle beast. For crystal clear calls, you need a reliable connection. And that's where the ethernet cable question comes in. The UMA ethernet connection, friend or foe? All right, let's address the elephant in the room. Does UMA absolutely need an ethernet cable? The answer, like most things in tech, is a nuanced, it depends. Scenario number one, the wired warrior. If you're a stickler for stability and have a rock solid internet connection, then an ethernet cable is your best friend. Here's why. An ethernet cable creates a physical wired connection between your UMA device and your router. This bypasses the sometimes unpredictable world of Wi-Fi signals, ensuring a smooth and uninterrupted path for your voice data. Think of it like this, imagine a highway for your data. Wi-Fi is like rush hour traffic, lots of signals competing for space, potentially causing delays and drop calls. An ethernet cable? That's a dedicated express lane, guaranteeing your voice data gets through quickly and efficiently. Scenario number two, the Wi-Fi wanderer. But hey, not everyone lives in a mansion with dedicated router placement. Maybe your Wi-Fi situation isn't the strongest, or perhaps you just prefer a more wireless setup. Fear not, brave Wi-Fi warriors. UMA can also connect directly to your router using Wi-Fi. Now, here's the important caveat. While it works, a Wi-Fi connection can be susceptible to interference from other devices and signal fluctuations. This could potentially lead to choppy calls or even dropped connections. So, UMA with Wi-Fi yay or nay? It depends on your internet setup. If you have a strong and stable Wi-Fi signal throughout your house, then you might be perfectly fine ditching the cable. But if you experience any Wi-Fi woes, or if crystal clear call quality is your top priority, then an Ethernet connection is the way to go. Here's the bottom line. UMA doesn't necessarily require an Ethernet cable to function. However, for the best possible call quality and connection stability, a wired connection is highly recommended. Think of it as an insurance policy for your phone calls. If you do decide to go the wired route, any standard Ethernet cable, think CAT5E or higher, will do the trick. UMA even includes a short cable in the box to get you started. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time, happy calling.